Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed al Banani. I'm a PhD student at the University of Michigan. I'm presenting our work, Bootstrap Your Own Correspondences. This work was done with my advisor, Justin Johnson. In this work, we tackle the problem of geometric point cloud registration. That is, given two point clouds, how can we find the transformation that best aligns them? We're interested in doing this without relying on any supervision. This task is typically solved by finding corresponding points between the two scenes. For example, the corner of the pillow or the top left corner of the couch. While those might be easy to discern from a colored point cloud, the task becomes much harder if we only rely on the raw, uncolored point cloud. One solution is to have good feature descriptors for each point. This resulted in a lot of work on geometric feature extraction. While early work relied on handcrafted features where a descriptor was computed for each point based on its local 3D neighborhood, more recent work leverages supervised learning to train neural networks that can learn those features directly from the data. Geometric feature learning has been enabled by architectures that operate directly on point clouds or on sparse voxelizations of point clouds. Those architectures have shown a lot of success in tasks such as point cloud classification and segmentation, and as a result have become a popular choice for 3D learning. To learn local descriptors for correspondence, Prior work typically uses triplet or contrastive losses on ground truth correspondences. But how do we get the supervision? To answer this, let's consider the common framework for geometric feature learning. Typically, we start with special capture devices such as the Microsoft Connect, or even more complex setups such as the one used by the replica dataset. We then take an RGBD video of the scene, making sure to carefully scan every surface to get full coverage of the scene. This video is then used to reconstruct the scene using 3D reconstruction systems, such as Bundle Fusion. Longer videos that carefully cover the scene result in more accurate reconstructions. For training, we can sample point cloud pairs from either the video frames or crops of the reconstructed scene. Then we can train a geometric feature encoder using the supervision coming from the reconstruction. While successful, this approach is reliance on carefully captured video and 3D reconstruction systems limits the scalability. Ideally, you will be able to learn directly from the RGBD video without requiring any additional pre-processing. This is a pragmatic choice, as we're seeing a rise in phone cameras with depth sensors. We can expect a new stream of raw RGBD video without the annotations needed for supervision. Furthermore, such videos will not be catered for 3D reconstruction, as they will likely be shorter with partial coverage of the scene. This is very different from the carefully captured videos used for 3D reconstruction. Self-supervised approaches that learn directly from video can better leverage this data. To this end, we propose a method that learns directly from the RGBD video. At a high level, our approach is fairly simple. Given an RGBD video, we first sample two frames. By sampling close by frames, we expect them to capture similar parts of the scene. We then represent those frames as RGBD or point clouds. For both cases, we can easily generate point clouds since we have the depth and camera intrinsics. We then use a visual encoder to extract visual features from the images and a geometric encoder to extract geometric features from the point clouds. We can then sample point correspondences using the visual features and use them to train the geometric encoder. This allows us to train the model without requiring any supervision. At test time, we only keep the geometric encoder this allows us to operate directly on any point cloud. Similar to training time, we generate point-wise geometric features for each point cloud, estimate correspondence, and then register the scene by estimating the transformation that best aligns the correspondences. But why should any of this work? Well, we find that randomly initialized CNNs are surprisingly good feature extractors. If we consider the correspondences extracted below, we see that despite them being noisy, the features are good enough to find correspondences, especially around the doorknob, light switch, and chair. Meanwhile, the 3D CNN features are far noisier. Our core insight is that correspondences from a randomly initialized network can serve as pseudo labels to bootstrap visual and geometric feature learning. Now, we discuss our approach in more detail. We first focus on feature extraction. Given an RGBD image, we would like to generate a point cloud where each point has both a visual and a geometric feature descriptor. We first generate the point cloud using the input depth and camera intrinsics. 
We then use a 2D ResNet to extract visual features from the image, and a sparse 3D ResNet to extract geometric features from the point cloud. At the end of feature extraction, each video frame is represented by point cloud, where each point has a 3D coordinate, a geometric feature, and a visual feature. We then extract the correspondences for each modality separately. We first find the nearest neighbor for each point in feature space. We extract correspondences for all points, not just a subset of key points, making our method detector free. We're able to do this quickly thanks to a specialized KNN CUDA kernel. However, most matches will be false positives as seen below. While recent approaches train separate networks to determine inliers, we use a much simpler approach, a variant of Lowe's ratio test. The weight is based on the ratio of feature similarity to the first and second nearest neighbors. We compute a weight for each correspondence and keep the top 400 correspondences as inliers. This is surprisingly effective at filtering correspondences, as shown below. We then apply a registration loss to each set of correspondences. Intuitively, our learning signal comes from the question, how well can the correspondences be explained by a rigid body transform? We do this by first finding the SE3 transformation that would minimize the weighted residual error between the correspondences. We use the weighted progressive formulation to register the correspondences, which allows us to maintain differentiability with respect to the weights. Once we register the correspondences, we use the sum of weighted residuals as our loss. This is applied separately to each correspondence set. We note that Lowe's ratio weights are surprisingly effective for both filtering correspondences and weighing the losses. We observe that this loss can be thought of as a weighted triplet loss. This is easier to see if we consider that the first nearest neighbor is the positive sample and the second nearest neighbor is the hardest sample. We emphasize that this is done with the estimated correspondences, not ground truth. The efficacy of this loss is more surprising when considering that prior work trains separate networks to perform the same task. Finally, we consider using visual correspondences to improve geometric feature learning. Since visual correspondences are more accurate, how can we use them to improve geometric learning? We do this by using the sampled visual correspondences to apply similarity loss on geometric features. However, we find that simply minimizing the distance results in worse performance. We instead use the non-contrastive, self-supervised approach proposed by Chen and He. The main benefits of this approach is that it doesn't require negative sampling, nor does it add any extra hyperparameters. This is important since while the visual correspondences only provide us with good positive pairs, it's unclear how one would effectively sample negative pairs in our setting. We consider two variants of our approach. The first variant of our is our full model, which uses both the registration and visual to geometric transfer losses using RGBD video. The second variant only uses ge the geometric registration loss and as a result, does not require RGB data at any point during training or inference. We evaluate our approach on ScanNet, a large scale dataset of RGBD video of indoor scenes. We evaluate our registration performance against two sets of baseline, ICP and handcrafted features using RANSAC, as well as supervised geometric registration approaches. We find that ICP and FPFH, a handcrafted feature, achieve comparable performance with ICP's point-to-plane performing best. Meanwhile, FCGF, a learned geometric feature descriptor, achieves a much better performance than FPFH when using RANSAC or weighted procrustis as their alignment algorithm. Approaches that turn registration on top of FCGF achieve an, ev an even better performance. These approaches are trained on 3D match and show impressive generalization to ScanNet. When we train our model, on 3D match, we perform on par with FCGF when it uses weighted procrustis as its alignment algorithm. This is despite our features being self-supervised while FCGF being supervised. Training a large-scale dataset, such as ScanNet, we can see further improvements in performance, coming close to methods that use supervision for both feature learning and registration. We argue that this is a more practical comparison since it compares the impact of supervised learning on a small dataset with self-supervised learning on a large dataset. We also evaluate the quality of features learned by our method on the 3D match benchmark. We use the feature match recall metric. Intuitively, this metric measures the percentage of pairs that would be easily registered using RANSAC. We evaluate our performance against handcrafted features, scene supervised features, which train on 3D reconstructions of the scene, 
and pose supervised features which train on pose-aligned point cloud fragments. We know that the latter two sets require 3D reconstruction to generate their training data. Handcrafted features achieve a low recall performance with FEFH performing best, while scene supervised approaches achieve an even better performance by training on 3D reconstructions. Post supervised methods can achieve a stronger performance with methods that use 3D sparse ResNet backbones achieving the highest performance. When we train on videos from 3D Match, we outperform handcrafted methods, but fall short from the top performing supervised approaches. Training on ScanNet, we can generalize well to 3D Match and perform on par with the best scene supervised methods. One surprising result is that our method that only uses depth frames for training performs better than the ones that uses RGBD video for training. We emphasize that while our approach is trained only on video, other learned approaches require the scene to first be reconstructed to even generate their training data. We visualize our learned features using TCME and observe that the features are consistent across frames with certain elements of the scene, such as the top of the table, or chairs being cleanly delineated from the rest of the scene. This results in accurate correspondence and registration as shown in the rightmost two columns. In conclusion, we propose a self-supervised approach to point cloud registration that trains on only RGBD video. We find that video frame consistency is a strong learning signal for feature learning. We also find that randomly initialized CNNs provide us with enough signal to bootstrap feature learning and that the ratio test is surprisingly effective for correspondence estimation and feature learning. This eliminates the need of an inlier prediction network and makes overall setup much simpler. Thank you for your attention, and please visit our project page for more information.